hey guys, Mitch here, and I'm going to take a quick look at the new features in Reslice 1.1. And to start off, if you click on the slices option and you click and hold at the top, then you get a more zoomed in option. And let me pull up a let me pull up one with a smaller And so you can kind of see this is only, I guess, 4.5 seconds. And so you get a little bit better option of trying to zoom in as opposed to trying to see there. You can kind of go in a little bit more. So that's, that's definitely helpful. And if you hit the share icon, which is right there, it will export all of the slices as individual WAV files, but it, the only option is to email it. I have not looked at the MIDI file yet, but it sends the preset, the MIDI file, and then all of the waves. If this is a custom, <coughs> if this is a custom preset that you had where you've loaded in your own WAV file. It will also include the entire WAV file that you have loaded in. So I can go to like Housefly and you can see recorded audio 48. That's the whole WAV file that I've recorded in and then there's the different slices. It would be nice to have a zip function to zip it or at least, and an open in. To be able to take and maybe individual slices or just a zip file, open in, copy it to Audio Share or any other app, upload it to Dropbox. You know, just the basic iCloud or i Document Picker would be really nice. So that's that, and then I go ahead and hit this one. They've put the effects. They put a keyboard in the effects, so that's nice and handy. So the next feature is the sync, hold sync section. And so if you go to hold, you, if you click on it, you have three options now, whereas before it was just a kind of a toggle on and off between standard and hold. And they have this thing called key sync. But key sync is kind of funny. I've had some issues with it, so verse in, please address the issues. They know, let me pull up this. This is a response in the audio bus forum. They know there's issues with link, and to sum it up, if you want to key sync the arpeggio, you have to work with the standalone app and disable link inside the a host you should be set with the standard mode the arpeggio should be in sync to the beats of the host sequencer so basically if you want to be able as of right now if you want to be able to key sync it seems you have to have it in the standalone mode with not as an AU with able to link disabled and so what key sync is supposed to do but it doesn't seem to want to do it. So Ableton Link is disabled. Step. Common, let's go key sync. Yeah, I've had issues, but when it does work, let me restart the app. Okay, so now it's working. So maybe you have to do disable able link and restart the app. But if I click if I do standard, you can see there's a kind of a playhead going on in the background based on the tempo. And as it's kind of moving through, no matter what no matter how many times I click this, the playhead's still gonna go. Okay, so if I do key sync, each time I press it, it's going to restart all of the playheads. And if I move 
copy this. So it's gonna it's gonna restart, and it's gonna play the arpeggio. But I'm still having issues with not all four of them running. And so there's just there's quite a bit of issues with that. So my advice until they get that sorted out, I I wouldn't be I wouldn't use the key sync very often. So but with Ableton Link, I would like to see in a perfect world, I'd like to see Ableton Link keep the enabled and keep the tempo set to the Ableton Link and then when you click on key sync have it disable the playhead so that way you can, you know, play in real time kind of how you want it to go. And so each time you start, it'll start at the front of the beat, regardless of where it is in sync with the Ableton Link. And so maybe, I don't know if that's possible. And so that's... That is that for the updates. Um, it's getting better. It's an awesome app anyway. I love Versian apps. And this one is just uh, slowly, slowly, they're improving it. Thank you very much, Versian. And just fix those few things, and we'll have an awesome, fun, super fun app. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later.